Hey, this is Craig, and you are watching No Rest for the Wicked. Hey, we are going to make this American flag today in Adobe Illustrator. The American flag has 13 stripes, red and white, has a blue rectangle here, and then 50 stars. So let's go up to File, click on New. We're going to make this 1920 by 1080 pixels and we want it in landscape mode. Click Create. I'm going to press Control and the minus key to back it up a little. Let's make it a little smaller, zoom out a little. We are going to start by making the stripes, the red and white stripes here. So we will go to the rectangle tool. The keyboard shortcut for the rectangle tool is M. We'll select the rectangle tool, get right up here in the corner here, Drag across. About like that. About right. As far as your dimension this way, the dimension up and down does not really matter right now. We can adjust that. You just want to make sure you're along the uh, outer edge here. Now we will uh, go to the uh, selection tool. The keyboard shortcut is V for the selection tool. We'll use this. We've already got our stripe selected here. Hold down Alt, drag down after you begin dragging, then hold down Shift 2. Snap them into place, let go of your mouse button, let go of your keyboard keys. So now we have two stripes. We will make this top stripe red. The bottom stripe bottom stripe you want to select your bottom stripe and that will be filled with white we will select both of these get them both selected we will hold down alt we will begin dragging. After you begin dragging, also hold down Shift. Snap him into that bottom one. Let go of your mouse button. Let go of your keyboard keys. Now we will select all four of them. You can click off your artboard here. Draw a little box up. You've got them all four selected now. Hold down Alt. Begin dragging. Then hold down your Shift key. Lock it into place, let go of your mouse button, then let go of your keys. Who we got here so far? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We need five more. We want to end on red. So we'll start with this red one here. Select five. Hold down your Alt key, hold down your shift button after you begin dragging hold down your shift button snap him into place right there so that should make 13 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 see our our, our artboard extends down further you know uh, you just got to first click off your artboard to deselect everything then select all of your stripes Then get the bottom of your final red stripe and drag down. Even the place there. Now we have our 13 stripes. What we're going to do is we'll go over to our layers panel, click on it. We'll double click on layer one here. We'll just name it background. Hit enter. We will lock this layer. You just click right here in the empty spot and it creates a little lock icon. It means that the layer is locked. We will create a new layer but down here at the bottom. Click on that. We will double click on layer two and we'll just name it box. Enter. Now we will create the uh, dark blue rectangle here. You want to go to your rectangle tool 
uh, keyboard shortcut is M. We'll click on the rectangle tool. You will drag down a rectangle. Make sure you start at the very top, dragging down. We will go back to our selection tool. We will make this go to your width up here at the top, double click it, and we'll make that 873.9. 873.9. Point nine. Hit enter for the width and then the height. We will double click on the height and we will make the height 581.5. 581.5. Hit enter. Now we just need to adjust our rectangle, bring him back down into place to where he's along the sides here. That looks about perfect. We will click off of it to deselect it. Now we will go over to the layers. We will lock this layer. Click right here to lock it. And we will create a new layer. We will call this new layer. We'll double click on layer three and we will call it stars. Hit enter. Okay, now we are going to select, we are going to create our stars. Make sure that you were on, in your layers panel, make sure you were on your stars layer. Go over to your rectangle tool over here and click on the very bottom corner and you'll find your star tool in there. Click on that. We'll create our star here. We'll change the fill color to white. We'll go up to our selection tool. We will change the width to about 66 pixels. Hit enter. We will change the height to about 63 pixels. Hit enter. And then we will drag the star over here about where we want it. I'm going to use my arrow keys to move him up a little. About like that. Now we will hold down our Alt key. We will drag him across. Then we will hold down Shift 2. About like that. Now we will select both of these stars. Hold down Alt. Drag a cart across. Hold down Shift also. About like that. Select one star. Hold down Alt. Drag him across. Hold down Shift. I will do it one more time. Hold down Alt, drag him across, hold down Shift. But this one you want to drag him about where you want him to be to end. Right about there. Now we will select all the stars. We will go up to Distribute, a Horizontal Distribute Center. Horizontal Distribute Center. Click on that and it aligns them perfectly. Now we will select five of the stars. Hold down Alt, drag down. Now you want to make these right in the middle, just below it, right in the middle. Right about like that. Got mine a little too low. What I'm going to do here, I'm going to group these stars. Group. Uh, if you can't find group, you could just right click and you'll find group in here. Group them. We'll group the top group of stars too. Group. Like I said, if you can't find group, just right click and you'll find group in here. I'm going to move, I'm going to use my arrow keys to move this up a little bit, the bottom row. Right about like that. I'm going to select both of the groups. I'm going to hold down Alt. Drag down, hold down shift. Do it again now. Hold down alt. Hold down alt. Drag down, hold down shift. I like that. Now I'm going to select this top group of stars because we want it to end with six stars. Select the top group. 
hold down alt drag down hold down shift to center it there we have it the American flag pretty darn good thanks for watching